Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the series of lectures on uh, programming fundamentals. Uh, this uh, series of uh, videos is basically for those who are just uh, starting to learn the web programming. So we will be just discussing at the very fundamental levels. In today's uh, video, we will uh, discuss uh, the internet, uh, the world wide web, and then we will see the modern web development landscape. So we will just move to the slides. So the internet, as we know, is the uh, very fundamental global network that connects competing devices across the globe. Actually, uh, the internet is enabled by the TCP IP protocol. So this is the fundamental protocol suite that uh, enables uh, communication between the devices. So if we see the implementation of uh, TCP IP, it is actually the implement, implemented in four layers, starting from the link layer up to the application layer. So we have to consider these four layers. If we uh, see uh, from the uh, delivery from, of the information from the source to destination, or machine to machine delivery of, of information, this is enabled by the network layer and specifically the protocol responsible is the internet protocol so internet uh, protocol the ip in the tcp ip is the one that makes it possible to deliver one information a uh, set of information or uh, set of data whatever uh, whatever it, it is from the source to the machine and uh, the machine uh, to machine identification how one machine identifies the other machine is actually uh, enabled by the ip address so each machine on the internet has its own ip address that is the unique so internet protocol uh, uses this ip address to send information from one machine to the other machine but as we know, uh, there are uh, several applications uh, running on one machine. So uh, how to enable uh, the delivery of information of one application to the other application? So this is actually achieved by the uh, PCP protocol. So transport control protocol, or there is also another protocol, the UDP protocol. So these protocols enable uh, delivery of information from one application to the other applications running on uh, machines on the internet. So how uh, the individual uh, applications are identified? So this is actually uh, identified by the port number. So each uh, application has its own port number. So this port number uh, makes it possible to deliver information to the particular application in case there are multiple applications running so each application receives its uh, desired data so transport control protocol utilizes this uh, port numbers to send information from one uh, application to the other application so uh, usually we see uh, see tcp ip uh, tcp or the transport control protocol because uh, this is one that is actually uh, guarantees the data delivery on the other hand udp doesn't guarantee the data delivery because the tcp uh, implements acknowledgement so actually if we see uh, the combination of uh, this uh, ip address and port number uh, so we call it socket and this is the fundamental uh, endpoint uh, at the computer level that is uh, responsible for the delivery of information so we will not be discussing socket in more detail. So this is just a highlight of the TCP IP. So uh, once we have uh, the internet enabled, so we can actually write applications utilizing the internet. So we have uh, this application layer protocols. For, so for each internet application, we can have multiple or unique uh, application layer protocol level protocols. So for example, uh, to send emails or receive emails, we have uh, uh, in, uh, uh, protocols responsible for sending and receiving emails. Similarly, uh, we can have uh, 
uh, transfer of files from one machine to other machine so we have the protocols that actually enable transfer of files from one, one machine to the other machines but what we are interested in uh, this series of lectures or videos is the world wide web so world wide web is actually uh, the mechanism from which we uh, as a one liner we can say uh, this is uh, something that enables uh, the web documents accessible accessibility of web documents are uh, hypertext documents documents that are connected to each other so we will see it um, in more detail further but basically the uh, this is uh, our focus point uh, in these uh, videos world wide web is the one and this is actually enabled by by the hypertext transfer protocol so if we see the bit of history of world wide web so this was actually invented by uh, tim berners lee a computer scientist who was working at cern laboratory that is the largest uh, particle physics laboratory in uh, geneva switzerland so the, uh, the the fundamental idea of uh, trim was uh, to have uh, a web of hypertext documents i uh, that is the documents that are point to each other and th uh, these documents can be actually uh, accessed or viewed by the browsers so to demonstrate uh, his idea tim berners lee actually implemented uh, the first web server and uh, web browser in 1990 in at the sun laboratory later he uh, released this software to the world so that it can be developed further and this is what we see today so the fundamental architecture of world wide web is actually the client server arch architecture so we have uh, one server that is running uh, all time 24 7 hours 24 hours 7 uh, week or say the server software is one which is always running and this is the one uh, which provides uh, resources and then we have the clients and these are also programs which connect to the server and request the resources from the server so actually the communication between the client and server is uh, the request response mode of communications where clients always initiate the communication and make requests to the server asking for some resources and in the response the server always provides some response to the clients and then ends the communication so this response uh, request response mode of communication is actually enabled by hypertext transfer protocol http and this is the application level protocol of world wide web so it defines the format of a client requests how the client request should be formatted how the server response should be formatted so this is the underlying protocol that enables uh, communication between clients and the server so if we talk about the resources so resources can be anything for example resource can be html files it can be css files javascript files media files images videos audio etc so it can be anything so if we see the architecture of the server how the server works so server is the program that is always waiting for the clients to connect to it once the client are connected to the server or a single client connects to the server server gets the client request and then actually responds to the client according to its request and finally it disconnects with the client ends the communication so because uh, it ends the communication disconnects with the server so that's why http is often called as stateless protocol so uh, in principle uh, server is always waiting for the clients to connect it when the client connected the server gets the client request formats a response sends the response back to the client and disconnects with the client if we see the implementation of a client it actually uh, first initiates the communication so connects to the server sends the request to the client and waits for the server response and gets the server response and then finally shows the server response to the user 
so it if it is a uh, program a command line program terminal program it shows the, uh, the data on the client but mostly we uh, recognize the client as the web browsers so web browsers are the web clients which actually connect to the server and then uh, display the information to us so let's say for example on one computer uh, we have uh, the browser machine browser running and on other machine we have the google server so on the browser we uh, connect to the google with its uh, url through the internet and then google server sends back a document that document is displayed by the browser that we see as a web page so uh, let's uh, discuss uh, web development uh, landscape the modern uh, web development landscape so uh, we have actually two sides the front end and the back end the front end is the client side so here we have the client side technologies so if uh, as a developer uh, one can go to the client side one can also go to the uh, server side or it can be a full stack developer so at the client side we have the client technologies uh, and these the fundamentals in the client side technologies include html css and javascript rest of the technologies are the frameworks are the ones which actually build on these uh, fundamentals html css or javascript on the server side we have server side technologies so initially the servers used to be static uh, content provider pro providers so when clients connected to the servers the servers copied the files which are which were stored on the servers usually the html or css files and then uh, sent back to the clients but uh, later server became dynamic so they actually generated the web content dynamically when the clients connected to it so uh, in in the modern development we mostly refer to as the uh, dynamic technologies uh, at the server side and at the back end so uh, on the client side uh, we have very fundamentals uh, html css and then javascript so html is one which actually uh, provides the structure of the web document and then we have the css which provides the presentation or uh, format of the uh, of the uh, document and then we have the javascript which actually adds the behavior to the to the document and then we have some frameworks for example on the css uh, bootstrap or Tel tailwind so these frameworks actually uh, help or actually uh, enable quick uh, 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 formatting of uh, of web pages so uh, they are uh, actually providing more abstraction to the programmer so that they can uh, quickly uh, uh, make the uh, format or presentation of the documents quickly so uh, on the javascript side we have for example react angular and view so these are the frameworks which actually uh, build on the javascript and then provide the runtime behavior or the actually web components uh, on the client side on the backend side we have a multitude of technologies for example including php java python asp.net ruby on the rails and many things uh, recently we have a node uh, framework node.js so this is one which actually uh, provides the javascript engine and then uh, actually enables uh, writing uh, backend applications in javascript before node.js javascript was just confined to the server side but now uh, after the arrival of node.js actually javascript uh, has penetrated in, into everything so with the node.js we can actually write the backend applications with the javascript we can actually write the uh, front end applications also we can write mobile applications we can write de desktop applications so everything uh, can actually be uh, written in javascript using node.js and other 
technologies of course so that's pretty much uh, of it uh, uh, for the introduction of the modern web development so uh, this was just uh, a quick uh, recap on the internet so if we uh, you like the videos uh, if you have any comments suggestions or uh, you would like to uh, help how to improve these videos you can always con connect me thank you for watching please keep watching